Hi, welcome to the wood shop here at Glenwood Springs High School. I'm Matt Jensen, and this video series is on the functions, features, and safe operation of our equipment here in the shop. All right, when it comes to shop safety in our feet, we definitely want to wear closed-toed shoes. We want to wear flat-bottom shoes, so for the females out there, no high heels. Uh, we want to make sure that our toes are covered, that they're tight on our feet. We don't want to be slipping and sliding, so no things like flip-flops or uh, slippers and those kind of footwear. We want nice, solid footwear, making sure our toes are covered so if we drop something, if we drop a tool, our feet are protected. Uh, preferably rubber soles so that we don't slip and slide around the shop. We get sawdust on the floor, it gets pretty slick. So when we're in the shop, on the days that you're in class with me, we want to have closed-toed shoes of some sort. When it comes to our legs and shop safety, we want to choose uh, pants or shirt, or excuse me, pants or shorts, uh, possibly skirts for the girls, that are well fitting. We don't want them loose, we don't want them real flowy, we don't want them real baggy, uh, so that as we move around the shop, there's not a risk of it getting caught on a piece of equipment uh, or us tripping on them. As we're talking about shop safety, talking about our upper torso, when we're talking about our shirts, we want to make sure that our shirts are well fitting, preferably short sleeves, but if you're going to wear long sleeves, to make sure that the sleeves aren't super baggy, they don't hang down because uh, it's a risk of getting caught. If you are wearing a sweatshirt, we'll pull it up, uh, we'll kind of wrap or bring the sleeves up a little bit. If you're wearing a hoodie or something with strings hanging down, we're going to tuck the strings into our shirt. We're going to make sure our hoods may be tucked into the back so that as we're bending around, it doesn't fall into the device that we're using. When it comes to our head, specifically our eyes, ears, and hair, we need to be very careful. For those of you that have long hair, we're going to put it up in a ponytail, we're going to put it up in a bun uh, to get it up out of the way. What we don't want is for us to bend over looking down at a piece of equipment and have our hair fall down and get wrapped up in a rotating piece of equipment. When it comes to our ears, we're not going to wear headphones, we're not going to wear wires to our headphones or even the AirPods or those style headphones because we need to be able to hear what's going on in the shop. You need to be able to hear my instructions, hear what the equipment is uh, doing, going on all around you. So no headphones in the shop. We want to protect our ears. So we're either gonna wear a headset uh, ear protection like so. It's just gonna go over your ears, nice and solid. Or you can wear this kind. It's like, uh, just plugs into your ear, twists in. Either one is acceptable, either one is it's pure student preference, pure user preference. When it comes to eyewear, if you have glasses and you wear glasses on a regular basis, you'll be wearing a pair of goggles. They just go over the top of your eyes or over the top of your glasses. And it's just to protect things from coming in, especially from the side of your glasses. For those of you that don't wear glasses or if you wear contacts, you'll put on safety glasses. And so that'll be one of the first things that we do every day in the shop is to come in, grab our hearing protection, grab our eye protection, and get ready for the day.